Hi, my name is Dr. Ray Taheri, and this is our first SolidWorks tutorial. Uh, I have arranged several SolidWorks tutorials for those who want to learn SolidWorks in general, and in particular, my AppSci 170 Engineering Fundamental Students at UBC Okanagan. Uh, this first tutorial covers some of the basic features using SolidWorks. Uh, when you start the menu here, so let me just close this here, and close here, so you have something, a menu like this, first thing you do, you go here, and file, new, and you have three options here, either you are uh, drawing a part, or you do a drawing of a part, uh, or you want to assemble several parts that has already been generated in SOLIDWORKS. In this particular case, I use the part drawing, and this is the menu I get. Uh, sometimes students are having problem to rearranging this by mistake. They click on here and bring it somewhere like here, and then end up having uh, a different kind of setup here. Uh, in order to change the command, so command manager, you can click on uh, anywhere here in this part and hold the left click as soon as you bring it down it gives you three choices either it can be on top or it can be on left or it can be on right and if I let it go now it's gonna be on the right side if I want to change it obviously I'll bring it back to this position uh, the next is these menus here so it's called property menus and I have three uh, choices as a default their features sketch and evaluate you can add more by right clicking on it and you can add for example sheet metal you can add weldment you can add surface and so on and if you don't want to just go back here and you just remove them one by one uh, next thing you have to uh, deal with is these sets of uh, menus here. Let me just do a simple drawing. Uh, in this case I make a simple rectangle shape here and I just give you an idea 120. So uh, I just made a rectangle and this is my dimension here. Uh, one thing you should do before even learning this is using this option. So it's a very important uh, feature here. So when you click the button, three options comes, and one of them, first one is options itself, and we have customize and adds in. So add ins, so you should do it later on. We talk about it in the uh, next few tutorials. But this option, when you click that, it gives you two. Uh, choices either you do the system options or you do document properties. So you go to document properties. Uh, very first thing you should do is you define your unit. What unit you're using? Is it SI? Is it foot pound? Uh, you can also customize a unit as you wish. I usually use the SI millimeter, gram, and second unit. Click on here. Uh, now I'm in that unit, so we can go back again here. The next is image quality. So we click on image quality, and what it does actually is uh, when you want to draw something, so of course, what SolidWorks uh, does is when you draw it, depends on what is the resolution of uh, your system or the defined resolution in SolidWorks, or in other words, what is the deviation, the shape can be different. Assuming I'm drawing a circle, if I have a very low resolution, very high deviation, my circle actually could be something like this. So let me just try that here. We go back here, make a circle, a simple circle. And if I want to change the resolution here and make it much less, image quality and I go far here and I go OK so if when you open it you can see that here so it's it's not as crisp 
as uh, when you increase the resolution here. So let me just change that. So if I want to change the resolution, I go here, and again, depends on the size of it. If it's very small, it would be completely pronounced. So I go here to properties, and I go to image quality, and usually I put it in the middle. And as you can see, it's, it's something about 0 0.25. That should be sufficient enough. And if it's OK. And you can see now it's, it's much more uh, look much better and then it, it has a high, much higher resolution. It's not the broken lines connected to each other. Uh, there are other features here. You can go to dimension and the dimension uh, you have a general uh, option here. You can change the font, for example, make it less or more. So you go to the units or you go to points. Let's make it, for example, 22 here. You can change the font, you can change the style, you can change the effect. And also for each of them, you can have, uh, for each of the features you can uh, plot, you can have it, its own uh, sets of rules. For example, for linear, if I want to make a line or I want to measure a line or length of a linear length, so I could have any of these three options. So I can have my writing on the top, or I can have the writing here, or I can have it like this. It all depends on how you want it. Usually the setup already uh, is uh, the first one, which means the written on, is on the top of the line. Now, um, Let's just delete this sketch here. I will do a simple sketch. Uh, just make another rectangular shape here. And I make a circle in here. And then I want to do an extrude. Something like this. And then I want to make a sketch here. Make another extrude here. And go to teacher extrude cut. And I do it all the way through. And maybe I want to make on the top here. So we go and make a normal here. And we'll make a nice sketch here. And change the position here. Something like this. And I do another extrude cut. And I do all the way, all through. So this is the shape actually I end up having. So the reason I made that, I want to show you another feature here. So now, when you see a shape like this, uh, let's just go through a few of these options here. First of all, it's called Apply Scene. So it depends on, there are several uh, options here. You can have, for example, Warm Kitchen. It looks like this. Just change the background. You can have... Uh, light cards looks like this I usually use uh, the best one to me I will use the uh, terrible with point faded ones here it's called the three point faded uh, there's another one that's called studio and that's actually it's not bad as well uh, okay now Let's just go to the next one, which is actual editing the appearance. So there is a difference between editing the appearance and also assigning a material. We'll talk about it later. But this is only a cosmetic effect. So you want to see how it looks. And you click on here. And uh, you have a variety of choices here. You can make it, for example, metal. And let's go down here. Uh, we go via tungsten. This is very popular. Metal and uh, choose any of them I'll use this one here and can use OK so it looks like a tungsten uh, this is as the material is concerned now 
here this option gives you you can have uh, this which is the actual solid plus all the lines are pronounced you can remove the lines you can have a wireframe you can have a wireframe with all the hidden lines as you can see that it, it's it's in a complex shape here and the final one it shows you uh, all the hidden all the lines but they're not really hidden they're not dash as it's here <coughs> excuse me now there is another option here which is called the view of an orientation and depends on what view you want to look you want to have front top view bottom view uh, side view left or right so that's another option here so you just go to the hole and let me just finish this one here and make it solid and now there is another uh, feature which is very handy it is this particular uh, sectioning view and what you do is that you click on it and simply it sections it for you so start from far end and as I left click and drag this it it does it for it, it draw the whole thing for me with a different sectioning and if I want to stop here right there this is my sectioning here and I can continue the different sectioning from here so I could be at this position and what I have on the left hand side it tells me all these uh, planes that I can intersect so this or front or top or right also I can give an angle here for example I can tilt this in two directions here okay and as a matter of fact I can add a second uh, section plane which is here and I can tilt that section as well and here I can add the final third one And I can angle that one as well. So if you realize, it, it's a very handy feature here. And you can see that this is the remaining of what I sectioned. Sometimes it's very handy when you have a complex shape and you want to see how it's sectioned with one plane. And you can define the plane. And just double click on here, click on here, and you bring the previous menu. Uh, and this is actually goes to previous all the menus here you can check with this guy here how many menus you can get and uh, the other two one is called uh, it is zoom in area you define an area here like for example this area and zoom it for me if using a ball uh, mouse or roller mouse you can just roll it in and out and sometimes you know you're missing your somewhere that you cannot see it just click on this one and it actually brings it to the center uh, if you again have a roller mouse by holding the roller you can change it uh, if you do the right click hold you can have any of these uh, four and by the way you can change that in a setting you can make it eight or you can have a different angle as well so uh, this is as far as some basics in SOLIDWORKS concern uh, before I start I uh, tells one more important thing uh, and that is when you draw something in SOLIDWORKS so I didn't talk by the way about this um, skeptical here eyeglasses so uh, you have features you can turn on and off like for example you can have the light on and off you can have the planes and you can have the center the origin you can have the lines like for example if I press in here so these are the view of the, the temporary axes and in this particular case obviously I have two um, axes here because these are two uh, circles now you can do a drawing in SOLIDWORKS in two ways so either you will have uh, a 2D sketch or a sketch or you have a 3D sketch Mostly we use 2D sketch and when I say 2D sketch it doesn't mean that we cannot use 3D but the basic is a 2D and then you can 
extended uh, to a geometry. So I would like to stop here and continue uh, with our next tutorial.